Welcome back to my channel. Um, so basically today, we gotta have a talk. Yes, you that's watching my video, we got to have a talk. Like, what? You, 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 we got to have a talk. Come on, 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 come on. So, we, we need to talk. Let me say this, this is gonna be a real quick video. Um, I wanna tell you this, you got five minutes to cry. You got five minutes, I'll wait. You done crying? Are you done crying? This is something I have to tell myself every single day. You got five minutes to cry, okay? Y'all, we are grown. We are grown. I go through stuff every day in my life and I'm sad and I cry and I get in my feelings. But let me tell you something. We are in control of our own emotions, of our own emotions. We are in control of our own happiness. Don't let whatever the hell is going on, don't let that shit bring you down. I'm telling you this right now. Like, don't let that shit. I have to literally remind myself, like, y'all, we human. It's going to happen. We going to feel some hurt. We going to feel some pain. That shit, go, that shit will eat us up. You hear me? But when I tell you this, don't let that shit break you down. Like, I go, like, I have been working on being happy and allowing myself. That's a chapter in my life right now is allowing myself to be happy because sometimes it's really you that's stopping you from being happy. Like, if you think about it, it's really yourself. Like, you're really stopping you from the next step. You're really stopping yourself from being happy. So, I had to tell myself, it's me. Like, I let this girl piss me off. I let a job stress me out. I let parents come stress me out. When I tell you something, baby, you have to wake up and you say, okay, this, 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 this happened. I got five minutes to cry. Think about that shit for five minutes. And once that five minutes, I don't care if you have to set a timer on your damn phone. You have five minutes to cry. And then once that five minutes is over, you get back up and you continue doing the shit that you know you got to do. Because I'm telling you, like, I found myself want to lay in the bed and sleep. That's what I do when I get sad. I want to just sleep and I want to be in my own personal space. And I don't want nobody to call me. But when I'm telling you, get out, get dressed, do your hair, do your makeup, get out. Can't nobody tell you how to feel about a situation situation that you're going through yes that's right can nobody maybe somebody's not going through the same thing that you're going through but when I tell you like if y'all really knew half of the shit that I kind of face every single day and I still get up and I'm still strong you got to do that like you have to you you have to do that shit because it's something that's helping us something that will help us and something that will make us stronger you know what I'm saying like you got five minutes to cry five minutes and I'm gonna keep saying that shit because don't get me wrong like we're young we don't know like what to do in certain situations but when I tell you this okay so I look back on a lot of things that I have did and I'm sometimes I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed of that. And I'm of like, I sit on the phone and I talk to my sister like, damn, I used to do this, 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 and that. I mean, I used to be out here wild and I used to move like state to state all the time. I was not like stable within myself. Um, I just would be feeling kind of like all over the place. And Sometimes I say, like, I beat myself about I could be further than where I'm at right now in life. And that's true. Like, you think about it, like, if you think, like, in your life, if I, if, like, if you say to yourself, if I didn't do this, if I didn't do that, if I didn't do that, if I didn't do that, I would have been here, 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 here. Okay, now let me tell you something real quick. This is what I tell myself. You are how old right now? Like, I'm 22. If I never, like, I'm so young. If I never would have did that shit, I would have been 30 and 40 doing all that shit. But now that I've been through it and I know where that got me, um, nowhere, um, it's gonna make, it's making my path smoother for me. It makes it, it's making it easier for me to go, go down that road, that good road, instead of all that stuff that I did. 
I would have did it further on down in life. And I, you know what I'm saying? Now that I take that and I know what happened, and I know what I did wrong, like, don't be ashamed of what you did. Don't be ashamed of what your life used to be. Don't do that. Don't down yourself. I'm telling you, sometimes you got to be like, damn, I was wild, but I learned. Damn, I was wild, but I don't do that shit now. It's all about now. I had to really wake up and stop living in the past. Like, I used to be so irritated all the time about shit that I could not control. And let me tell you something. One day, I just said I cannot control that shit no more. And I let that shit go. And guess what? Now I wake up happy. I don't wake up sad no more. I wake up in a good mood every single morning and I'm happy because I let shit go that I knew that I could not control. Like, I, I there's nothing that I can do about that. So I'm going to tell you this. You got five minutes, girl. Get up. I don't care if you're going through a breakup. If you're going through a breakup, yes, that's that's tough. That's tough. Like, I, I, I don't, that's something that I don't want to go through. But I'm going to tell you this. Look at it this way. If God is steadily removing something from you, and he's like taking it from you, and God is steadily showing you that that's not right, it could be a breakup, it could be a job, it could be um, it could be what you're doing in life now, and he's steadily removing that and taking it and making it not happen, and you keep running back to it, eventually God is going to be like, you know what I'm saying? And then you go hit your head, and it's like, once you see something being removed, let it be. Let it happen. And what I had to do is I had to become numb to a lot of things. Now, I didn't, when I became numb to a lot of things, I, I dealt with it. I didn't just ignore it because when you ignore it, it never goes away. When you see a problem and you see something, you have to take it and you got to deal with it. You can't just take it and not deal with it and just hold it in because eventually one day you're going to have to get over that you're gonna have to deal with it you're gonna have to face whatever it is and you're gonna have to go on forward and move forward with it but when something is being taken out of your life and god just keep removing it let it go just become numb that's what i did i didn't read it. i don't now i don't react a certain way how i used to i don't put so much thought into something like i used to i don't think about something too long like i used to because you can't you can't do that this is about life. Live your life, okay? If you watch this video, live your life. What, what, you in your 20s, live your life. Like, what is so, I get it, it's hard, it is. But, just try to do it. What's going to happen if you try? If you try to just move forward, what's going to happen? Nothing. You're going to either be happy, you're going to either elevate, you're going to either grow, you're going to do something, and I'm telling you, just try it. Take your little five minutes to cry about a situation and move forward. Allow yourself, like I say every time on my channel, allow yourself to be happy. And one thing, stop questioning shit that didn't work out. Stop questioning shit that's, that's never going to come back. Stop questioning shit that's not going to matter in three to five business days. <laughs> Stop questioning shit. Okay, so what? It didn't work out. So what? Now, what you going to do now? You going to either keep going. You going to find something else. What you going to do? That's like you go somewhere and that store is closed. What you do, sit in front of the store and cry? No, you go to another store. Okay? You, you look up. Well, other store was open, and you go to the other store. You don't sit in front of that store and cry and ball and wait till the store open. No, because you don't have time for that. So use that with your life. You going to sit about this situation, and you going to cry until it just eventually get fixed. What if it never get fixed? What if that store never open? Like, what if that situation never get fixed? You going to sit in that situation and cry? That's the same thing. Take whatever you're going through and push forward. Don't, you got five minutes to cry. And once some five minutes is over, you know what to do. Get your ass up. <laughs> Just like that. Get your ass up. Keep it pushing. Okay? Because time ain't waiting on you. 
Time is not waiting on you. Shit, time ain't waiting on me. Time ain't waiting on the big boss up there. Time, time ain't waiting on nobody. Get your ass up, girl. You got five minutes. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. I will be back. More videos on the way. I will be back. Please keep watching my videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. Period.